Hello, everyone. Do you want to improve your English speaking and listening skills? This podcast conversation is perfect for you. Let's get started. Today, we are going to talk about how to start thinking in English. Yes, you heard that right. Thinking in English. If you want to speak English more naturally and fluently, this is one of the most powerful steps you can take. Thinking in English, particularly for non-native speakers, is a powerful skill that can significantly improve fluency and comprehension. Surround yourself with English through various things such as books, movies, music, podcasts, and conversations. The more you expose yourself to the language, the more natural it will become. For instance, you could begin by reading children's books or watching animated movies, which often use a straightforward language. As you become more comfortable, you can progress to novels, documentaries, and new programs. This immersion helps your brain start to associate everyday objects and activities, bypassing the need for translation from your native language. Why is thinking in English so important? Well, when you start thinking in English, you reduce the time it takes to translate words and sentences in your head before speaking. This means you can communicate more quickly. It also helps you feel more comfortable and confident when using the language. But how do you actually start thinking in English? It might sound difficult, but with practice, it becomes easier. Let's break it down into some practical steps. One of the first steps to think in English is to start small. Begin by thinking simple thoughts in English throughout your day. For example, when you wake up in the morning, you can think to yourself, I'm going to brush my teeth, or it's time for breakfast. These are basic sentences, but they help you get into the habit of using English in your mind. Another example could be when you're walking to the bus stop. Instead of thinking in your native language, try to describe what you see in English. The key here is to not worry about making mistakes or finding the perfect words. Just let your thoughts flow naturally in English, even if it's just for a few minutes each day. Another useful technique is to label the objects around you in English. This is especially helpful for beginners. You can start by labeling things in your room, like your bed, desk, or chair. When you grab your phone, think, this is my phone. I use it to call my friends. As you get more comfortable, you can expand this practice to other places, like your kitchen or even when you are out shopping. This helps reinforce vocabulary and makes English a part of your daily environment. Now, let's move on to something a bit more advanced, having an internal dialogue in English. This means talking to yourself in English, in your head. For instance, if you're trying to make a decision, like what to eat for dinner, you can think, hmm, what should I eat tonight? Maybe I'll have some pasta, or should I make a salad instead? This is a great way to practice forming sentences and thinking more complex thoughts in English. It might feel strange at first, but the more you do it, the more natural it will become. Another effective way to start thinking in English is by integrating it into your daily routine. For example, if you are cooking, try following a recipe in English. Read the instructions out loud 
and think about what you're doing in English. If you are into fitness, you could follow a workout video in English and think about the exercises you are doing. I am doing push-ups now or time for some stretching. You should immerse yourself in English as much as possible. This means listening to English music, watching movies, or reading books in English. The more you expose yourself to the language, the easier it will be to start thinking in it. After you finish a chapter of a book, summarize it in your mind in English. This not only helps you practice thinking in English, but also improves your comprehension skills. You can engage in conversations with others in English as often as possible. This could be through language exchange meetups, online forums, or even casual chats with friends who speak English. If you don't have access to native speakers, consider using language learning apps that connect you with conversation partners. Practice speaking about a variety of topics to build your vocabulary and confidence. The key is to keep practicing. Over time, you'll find yourself thinking in English without conscious effort. Now, I know what you might be thinking. This sounds great, but what if I get stuck? It's completely normal to feel stuck at times. When this happens, don't get discouraged. Instead, remind yourself that it's okay to make mistakes. The goal is to gradually increase the time you spend thinking in English. Remember, learning to think in English is a gradual process. It takes time and patience. Vocabulary definitions. Break it down. Definition. To explain something step by step in a simpler or more detailed way. To divide something into smaller parts to make it easier to understand. Example sentence. The teacher decided to break it down for the students so they could grasp the concept more easily. Flow. Definition. The smooth and continuous movement or progress of something, such as information, a liquid, or an activity. Example sentence. The flow of the conversation was so natural that we lost track of time. Label. Definition. A piece of paper, cloth, or other material that is attached to something and gives information about it, to assign a name or category to something or someone. Example sentence. The jar had a label that indicated it contained a strawberry jam. Stretching. Definition. The act of extending or lengthening something, often muscles or materials, to improve flexibility or reach. Example sentence, she does stretching exercises every morning to stay flexible. 